All right, I just wanted to show that I got this uh, old oscilloscope going. This Heathkit model, if it'll focus in on that, 011. And I got the trace, not very bright, but there it is. That's a lot brighter. And vertical movement. And horizontal movement. In the horizontal, I got just a tiny bit of a dead spot right there in the VR. Or the pot, whatever you want to call it. Cleaned it out with deoxit, but it didn't help much. The focus works. If I can get it. Everything seems to be working okay, and I've had it sitting up here for about 20 minutes, just letting it cook, I guess you could say. That's why I got the intensity down. I don't want it to burn a line in the screen. And uh, I was going to do a video with the cover off and everything and show that it was working, but I kind of spaced it off. So this is what you're going to get. You know, now that I've restored this thing, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. I basically just wanted to do it for a learning process and to do it. And to say that I've done it, whatever that means. It was a pretty good project. It was a little frustrating when I first turned it on to get it going I had a few problems that I had to go back and check and I had a solder on the horizontal position that wasn't uh, working correctly because the trace was gone I had to build the bridge for it but you'd turn it on and you'd get a dot right here and then it would just slowly creep off the screen oh, pardon me and uh, be gone forever so I started going through stuff and started reading stuff and I found a trace that was just, it was gone and I didn't realize it was gone, I guess. So I built a bridge and that fixed that. Then I adjusted the, the, uh, the line pots on the side here. I forget what yet the official name for them is. I'll figure something out to do with it, I'd imagine. I'm going to let it cook a little more and see what happens. So anyway, I guess that'll be the end of the video for now. And if you watched, thanks for watching and uh, bye.